for those of you who've watched our last um, video where we were in Vero Beach with our friends, we went for a bike ride there with Ron and um, Cindy Lou, and, and we got serious bag envy. And Chad and Tara were with us, and we yes. had helmet envy. This is very true. So you'll see both wearing our brand new helmet. And you can probably hear me talking to Stacy through her helmet because we're connected via an intercom. I don't know. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure they can hear me talking to you. Here, let me turn around. Can you hear me talking to you? <laughs> yes, I know. We look totally ridiculous out here in the middle of the park. <laughs> so Chad and Tara had the, the intercom helmet uh, made by Senna. So we had to have them. That was the coolest thing. So we got them. And then Ron and Cindy Lou had these cool bags. So. We can had we, to get them too. Can we turn off the helmets now? I'm hearing okay. you two times. Yeah, yeah, turn off. Middle button? No, plus middle. What I really like about the helmets. Oh, oh there it is, on. sound of freedom. Soak it in, people, soak it in. We are right next to Tampa, uh, McDill Air Force Base, so. Get it, boys. If you have seen any of our early videos, which I don't know if we should address them back to some of the early videos because they weren't very good, but in one of the very early videos, we were um, doing a bike ride at um, in Texas at, what was the name of it? We were at Paladoro Canyon. Oh, yes. And we decided really to mountain bike a hiking trail. So yeah, we had no business being on this trail with bikes. Needless to say, it didn't work out for me too good I crashed a few times and one time into a cactus and I was behind Phil and he's in front of me and I'm yelling for him because I'm all in this cactus and he's way ahead of me and he can't hear me yeah so finally he turns around as I'm you know hobbling up to him full of freaking cactus needles and he was like what happened needless to say I might have been a little short-tempered when he said what happened because and your honor that's when the fight started <laughs> I mean seriously I'm hobbling I was way behind him I probably had dirt all over me and he's literally gonna ask me what happened look I was super super focused on not falling off this cliff edge I set myself so <laughs> yeah it was a little stressful on that ride but all that to say that if we'd had these helmets she could have said hey dummy yeah. I just fell into a cactus yes and, and if you go back to watch that video, I did cut that part out. Yeah. So and it you can't got me, see the fight. It might have got me in trouble because I might have laughed out loud when she said I fell into the cactus. So these you things, did. these things have pretty good range. <laughs> um, so we really like them, and it just keeps you focused on riding and not having to turn yes, around, turn yes. your head. I didn't have to ha turn around one time or yell at him when he was in front of me. Yeah. So, so it's really cool. As soon as, as soon as we got back from the ride with Chad, Tara, and Ron, and Cindy Lou. These bad boys went in our cart. And yeah, we, it's we electronics. Them. You know how Phil is with gadgets. His, his gadgets and gadgets. his toys. So this is what Phil wanted. The bag is what I wanted. So this bag has a nice big compartment, pockets all in. It's got a divider. It's padded. So we really like it for the camera gear. That's the main reason what drew our attention to it. So it's got a, a bungee on the top, a little pocket on the top, a cup holder in the back. But check this out. It's got these side bags. Like saddlebags. Really. Saddlebags. So if you wanted to take it um, out on the trails and go kind of backpack and tent camp somewhere, I mean, both sides open up. This actually expands up a little bit more. Um, you could put, you you can can put, put a lot quite, of stuff in there. Quite a bit of gear in here. Okay, Phil will never be Vanna White, first of all. No. <laughs> Second of all, we will never be tent camping and backpacking out <laughs> in the middle no. of nowhere. So I don't know where he got that whole thing from because we're never no. going to do that. I didn't say us. I said if you like to. I said main reason we got it was for the padding for the camera gear. <laughs> I just wanted that to be clear. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Maybe when I was, you know, a kid, I didn't mind sleeping on the ground, but I'm too old and broken for that now. Yeah. So, so just so you know up front, we bought these these gadgets and bags. Um, we're not affiliates with anybody on this. This is what we bought. This is we like it. We just think so it's super far, cool. Yeah, this is our our maiden voyage with our helmets. And man, let me tell you, that was a lot of fun. Perfect. What a perfect way to spend the day. Just dreaming. Way to spend the day. Just honey do baby boo sugar be love me. Way to spend Get me ice cream. So 
I only rode about 10 miles, so I earned it. Yeah, really not pedaled. Hey, I pedaled. Have you ever heard that sound before? Yeah, you know what that is. That's the AC or the heat pump actually going out because our squirrel cage or our blower wheel has given way again. Uh, luckily for us, I was right here in the kitchen and I came over and I turned it off really fast before uh, any further damage. But you could already start to smell something burning um, between the, the few seconds that it popped on. We actually had our front one go out um, early last year and Stacy had to go up and replace that one and we'll link that video down below. One of the things we learned from our first blower wheel going out is to always have a spare. This just came in handy because when Stacy went and bought the replacement for the front, she did pick up a spare knowing that this one would go out sooner or later and it did. So now we have to find a place to get a spare for a spare. This is fairly easy to take off. There's just four, four bolts that are covering this on top of the four that were closing or holding the shroud. So that looks like it's the only crack is right here. And you can see my finger in that uh, split. Not supposed to be like that. Next thing I need to do is remove this screw here and this whole assembly will pull out. And it's actually cracked on both sides. Pretty, pretty significant cracks. We get asked all the time what extra parts we carry around in our RV. And since we just changed out the squirrel cage, which is one of the items we <laughs> always have, we thought well, this would be a great time to show you some of the things we make sure we have spares of. Yeah, so if you see in front of us, now we're not gonna go over every spare that you should have or, or even what we carry all of, but we're gonna give you a general idea of some of the things just to get the wheels and motions going. Yeah, you know, you're right, I might need that. So this is what we're gonna go with. All right, so let's dive in. I'll go first. Okay, you go first. <laughs> All right, so of course you guys know about the squirrel cage. You just saw Phil rep replacing the squirt, squirrel cage. Say that fast. All right, so I'm going to go from there, and we're going to talk about what I think we should always have, and that is an extra water pump. Yeah, we, for sure. We boondock a lot, and we've actually had our water pump go out on us. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a pump, you don't have water. So this is something we will always have to spare of. Yeah, and they are fairly easy to swap out if you need to. I mean, it's just a couple connections, yep. um, which leads me to this one here. <laughs> so this little bucket of gadgets, I have um, crimp or um, fuses. I have ends to connect wires together. I have screws. I have connections for wire cables, battery cables, yep. um, just odds and ends on things that you know, you, you never know when a fuse is going to blow and you're going to need to swap out a fuse. So I have some of those for the rig. Um, another thing, a water pressure regulator. Um, I have drove off and left one at a park <laughs> once or twice. Um, I have had them go out on me. So now I have two. In the event that I either forget that I laid it out somewhere or it goes out on me, I can just swap it out. It's imperative to know the water pressure coming into your rig. Yeah. Every rig is different on the, the amount of water pressure that they allow in. So know what your rig setup is before you go and set your water pressure to 80 and blow out your pipes. Next up, let's talk water filters. We carry two water filters because again, we could be out in the middle of nowhere when it's time to switch them out and we always want to be prepared. So this is our in-house water filter and we also keep two of our in-line water filters. Yeah, you, you never know when you're going to hook up somewhere and get that, that really bad water where it's got a lot of stuff in it. These things are meant to catch the stuff and clog and you know, luck would have it, we'd be out in the middle of nowhere yeah. when it would clog finally. Um, the other thing is an extra hose. Now it doesn't have to necessarily be a water hose, it could be a black tank flush hose, 
um, or just an extension of a hose, but we always carry an extra 25 to 50 feet of hose mm -hmm. just for the, for the, or in the event that one of the hoses, they bust, rupture, I get a cut in it, um, or I'm too far away from the water spigot, I always have enough to get me or maybe lend a hand for a neighbor uh, if they're short. Um, Oh, right. these are really important. I would have more than one of these. Yeah, so we carry a couple of these, and I've already swapped out a bunch of these, but these are the door and cabinet latches. Um, they're plastic. They do break. Um, sometimes the screws that hold them in place come loose. Yeah. They're not always lined up right. You go to shut the, the drawer, and you crack it or you break it. It's frustrating. And then on moving day, you got cabinets and doors swinging open. We carry these, and not a lot of people think about them until it's too late. Yeah like us so i went and i bought a pack um, of these these are great to have just in case next up let's talk about our filters we have enough filters to keep all of them in place in the vents and then a whole nother set so what phil does every month when he's doing his maintenance he pulls down all the dirty ones puts these clean ones up and then he can wash the dirty ones let them out to dry and they go back in the bag yeah and those are you know this just saves time when you so if you pull them all out you don't have time to get to them right away you already got new fresh ones in there so you're good to go and we got these when we were at tiffin but you can also find them at amazon yeah all right now you're looking at i know the guys are eyeballing the dicor and the eternabon tape <laughs> this is great to have when you're in a state park like we are and you can see all the trees behind us pulling into a site if you snag um, your roof on a tree limb this is, is a quick fix until you can get your roof repaired. And then seals, you don't want to find out you got a bad seal when it starts raining. Then, you, then it's too late. But whenever I'm doing my maintenance or I'm up on the roof checking things out before we get underway, I've always double checked my seals and make sure that they're good to go. They haven't started peeling back. And I have a, a, a tube of, of Dicor, self-leveling Dicor, just in case mm -hmm. I find that I have a seal that's bad, I can, I can seal it up. It might be a temporary patch, but at least I have something to keep the water out. Right. These are these are two must-haves, I would say, um, to have in your RV. The last thing, I do keep a spare generator fuel filter, just in case it gets gummed up. You, we've heard heard of people that have got bad gas or their generator sat too long and their filter gummed up. I have a spare one in the event that I need to swap it out or I take it in and have somebody else do it. I always have one on hand. Of course, what you have spare parts of in your in your RV is going to depend on how you RV. Do you go to dispersed camping? Are you always at a campground in the middle of the city? Or do you even have space for storage? That's a huge one. So that's an issue. So I'm sure a lot of you guys actually have more um, extras that you keep than we do. And we would love to know what that is. So what is the one thing that you never drive your RV out of the driveway unless you have an extra one on board? So drop that down in the comments. I'm going to guess that a lot of them are going to be fuses and squirrel cages. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you might like to hear the exciting news from our t-shirts. Yeah, this is this is something we're really, really happy about. Yeah, we're so proud of you guys and we're so excited because we just over this last couple of weeks since our storefront opened, we have raised 538 bucks. Yep from our t-shirt sales and you guys donated another hundred and eight dollars and all of that is going to go directly to homes for our troops yeah that is super super exciting our, our storefront's only been up and running for about 11 days so to have you guys find the site think that the shirts were were good um enough to order and support yeah. a good charity we're absolutely over the moon with that but i gotta tell you where are my navy guys at <laughs> Where's my Navy family? Right now, the Air Force is leading the way That's right. on, on T-shirt sales. So I don't know if, if maybe the Air Force, maybe they just got more money. I don't know. Maybe they got paid better in the Air Force. Oh, maybe. Who knows? Know. But uh, with all that being said, we are ecstatic yes. that the shirts were a hit. Um, based on your feedback, we absolutely love all the support we're yep. getting with the shirts. And you don't have to be a veteran or active duty military. We also have them for military families. And if you're not affiliated, don't worry because we have you covered too. So if you haven't seen our shirts, drop the link or go down to the link below and check them out. And two bucks from every shirt will go directly to Homes for Our Troops. Two dollars. That's making a huge impact yes. for, at Homes for Our Troops, trust me. So thank you, thank you, thank you.
Find our stickers throughout the country and we'll send you a prize. I'm here with Tweedledee and Tweedle. No, just kidding. Just kidding. I'm using that, so keep going. Whatever. So we are halfway through our brew bus tour and you're asking, brew bus? What is that? Well, it's actually a bus for only $10 a person. You hop on and they take you to, well, depending on the day, today is four different breweries. Can't beat that. We're at number two. No keto comments today. We're on a keto break. I'm on a perpetual keto break, <laughs> yes. but anyway. And, and we are here with our yes. Tampa friends, soon to be full-time RVers. They That's have their right. RV. They're living it's in coming. it. They're about to retire. They're about to hit the road. So this is Peyton and Andrea from To Be Determined. They have started a channel. Yep. Young and up and coming. So she needs a little <laughs> young, extra love. Young, young. The channel. Oh yeah, the channel. The channel is young. <laughs> Not the couple. Um, yeah, they're fairly young. But the channel needs a little love. So if you have a few extra laughs in your belly, go on over there, give them a check, check them out, give them a laugh, give them a thumbs up, show them some love because they're about to hit the road. She got the giggles. Come on. Come on. A minute. A minute. It's on. Okay, ready? Okay. I just met Scully's girlfriend at the bar. But I have to say, I do not approve of the beer she's drinking. Oh, she got she's light. got a course. Oh, and a brewery. And a brewery. It's not even a draft. It's not even an IPA. I'm a little upset about that. Yeah, they could do a little bit better on the Maybe advertising. She's the Maybe she is the driver. Well, she's drinking water down course. Then. All right, we just finished up with our fourth and last brewery on our brew bus tour. <laughs> and it was pretty amazing. It was. I can say that I sampled quite a few beers, had quite a few snacks, and loved them all. And don't worry, we have a DA assigned. She's over here. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're in the clear. We That's will right. make it home safe and sound. Yeah, we made sure that she stopped drinking hours ago. <laughs> hours ago, hours yeah. ago. This past weekend, we met the owner of Donatello's. We got to talking about good old Italian food, and he invited us to his place. So here we are. That's right. So we're going to see how delicious it is. They've been in business for 30 years, and his dad came straight from Italy. Yeah, so he's from the uh, Venice part of Italy, so he's Venetian. And I guess there's a different Italian way of cooking um, by Venetian. So we're going to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. And Every these area. two usually speak a lot more than this. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they've, just got, eat. they've got pasta on the brain. They, you know, all day we've skipped meals and snacks just for, well, I'm lying. And we're No, down. I didn't. Bill never yeah. skipped yeah. skip, meals. I didn't skip a thing. It was on point. Yes. It really was really good. good. We went in there, the sun was out, we came out, it's dark now. What's that tell you? <laughs> That's how they do in Italy. Yeah, yeah it was really good. Me. From from the bread, from the, what was the drink? For the spritz Aperol. Spritz Aperol. Never had one. Really good. Um, the, the food, everybody's food was delicious. And then the dessert, dessert. chocolate oh. mousse. Yum. Yum. Mm. Really they, good. They really take care of you here. I mean, they wait on you hand and foot. It's not the cheapest place we've ever eaten. No. So the prices are a little high, but it's very authentic. And that's what you're going to pay for yeah. authentic Italian. And that was that was really good. I'm doing my hand like I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so, Italian. <laughs> um, but it was really good. And then we finished the night with a limoncello. Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah. Really, really good, good. Really good. Yeah. Good closure. And? They got roses. Oh, yeah, roses. I accepted the rose. I'm not sure what this means, but I said yes to the rose. She's coming yes. home with me, fellas. That's what it means. <laughs>